All right, everyone, so coming back to you with another uh, full self-driving 10.2 beta video here. Uh, traveling at a little bit more of a closer to a rush hour time uh, and hitting a few intersections that I know I've had a, a couple problems and difficulties with in the past, nothing major. So I'm interested to see how they handle these intersections in a little bit busier time of the day. Uh, but in general, still very impressed with uh, FSD. Right now it's on the, you know, essentially in the highway mode until we get off here and it'll go full uh, self-driving. We'll see the, the UI change here if you're not familiar with how it changes between highway and, and city driving. So one of the things that it's had some issues with here is we have a right turn here, which it handles the turn fine, but then I have a left turn that comes up right away and you need to essentially jump three lanes and it doesn't always do it very quickly and almost misses the lane jump. And that's when there's no traffic around. So we'll see how it does if there is actually traffic around, which we do have. So I'm interested to see how, uh, how well it actually handles getting over lanes if cars are coming. All right, so it's checking, it should be going here. We have a free and clear way. There it goes. And Turns out we actually don't have traffic, so let's see if we can get over all our lanes. Uh, there's one of them, we still need to get one more. So as you can see, it's gonna get over here, but it crossed that white line and it could have definitely gotten over a little bit sooner. But, it, I mean, it handled it fine, it just didn't really prioritize, like it drove straight a little bit there in that right lane before starting to get over. Um, when generally I probably would have tried to get over much sooner. I'm going to take over here because it tried to get over and then stopped in the middle because the, the traffic was stopped. Wouldn't have been a big deal there other than blocking a little bit. It was doing the right thing by getting over because up here in a little bit we want to be in this left lane. Um, it just kind of picked a bad time to try to get over. Well, actually, I'll go ahead and mark it. Um, not an ideal place to get over and then stop in the middle like it it didn't make sure it had enough space to get over to the left lane before it started trying so i guess maybe that's where the error is there like if it's going to jump the lane and traffic stopped it shouldn't start trying to jump the lane unless it's sure that it's going to get all the way over and it could have gotten over but it would it would have been close to the car that uh was in front of us so clearly it didn't want to get that close and it just kind of abandoned in the middle of the lane change definitely would have been better if it uh if it just waited or or committed to getting over a little bit sooner never really had any issues with these uh with these lights or these intersections even when i get caught at them seems to handle it just fine And this is, uh, you know, this intersection is pretty wide and confusing, more or less. There's a lot of lanes and having to get over. So after we go through this light, we need to make a left. It usually gets over fine here. Let's see if it gets in the far left lane or just the right of the two left lanes. And it looks like, okay, it's going to stay in this one. So we're going to eventually have to jump over because these two, the right of these two left lanes ends. Um, but that left lane was very backed up and normally it will jump all the way over there if there's not traffic there. Everyone in that lane is not gonna make the light. So if I was driving myself, this is actually what I would do is get in this lane and then just plan to merge after the turn so that I make the light. Because the people on that side, if we would have pulled in the other lane, we would not have made the light. Now, I don't, I'm not confident that the car was actively making that decision, uh, trying to get to the lane that was closer to the light. And then the next issue is gonna be once we get through the light, the car is going to have to get over uh, pretty quick before the lane ends. So we'll see how it handles that and this intersection. Sometimes this intersection, it's done fine. And then other times it's struggled a little bit getting close to the cars next to us. So we'll see how it does this time. I'm going to definitely pay close attention. But we do. there is a line here in the middle to follow. So yeah, it did, it, it did the, the intersection just fine that time. But sometimes it'll get, when I'm on that inside lane, it'll kind of get a little close to the outside. So 
our lane's gonna end pretty soon here and it's not really making an active attempt to get over maybe in front of this white car it'll try to get over it's kind of run out of time yeah so now we're we're kind of hosed right so I need to go straight here and it put me in the turn lane so let's just see what it does oh well it just cut off a truck so there you go <laughs> Um, so I guess that worked, but we were certainly, you know, it waited all the way until the intersection and it, it safely got over. Um, it was, it was, there's a, I don't know if you could see it in the video as we were approaching it, but there was a big box style truck there. So it was kind of slow off the line and the car saw the opportunity to, uh, to get in front of it right there at the last minute. Now I did see, I was looking at this, the car was prepared to have the forceful turn there. Um, and then you could see it, uh, if you run the video, you can see the, the blue or green line of where it's, how it's pathing's gonna end up. You could see it jumping between wanting to make the turn and then trying to get over to go straight. Uh, so it, it seemed like it was trying to make a decision there in terms of whether it was gonna just say, all right, well, we have to bail and just go make this turn even though we don't want to, or get over. And it took the opportunity to get over, so. It for sure is willing, we've already seen twice, it's willing to cross solid white lines to get into those turn lanes. Um, it did it at that the first big intersection where we had to jump over quite a few lanes, and then it did it again at that intersection. So now we're back in the neighborhood. Um, you know, it, I've had kind of mixed results in general at the neighborhood, where is it, it struggles. It does fine when there's no one coming, but if there's an oncoming car, uh, it kind of waits until the last second to get over and definitely probably scares the other drivers a little bit. So you, sometimes I'll take over if I see it not giving it enough space because it, it just waits too long to get over. I really wish, and you can kind of tell it here, especially on the screen, I wish it would hug the right side of the road a little bit better. I don't know if the programming doesn't realize this is actually a two lane road, um, but I just would prefer it to default to staying to the right. That way you don't have those situations because I'm almost in the middle of the lane here. Which I understand is how most people drive anyway on these kind of streets, but the car doesn't get over soon enough. Pretty much as soon as it sees oncoming traffic, it should it should get itself over and, as opposed to right now, it kind of waits until the last second. So here's that tricky S turn that was in like my first video. There's no cars coming, so it should handle this pretty well. Um, but it definitely crosses past the midsection here. And then if you look at this left here, it for sure cuts into the other lane for the left turn. Um, so it, it's pretty smooth when there's no other cars because it'll cross the middle point. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. Just a quick little drive, a little bit more traffic there and some intersections I know there have been issues with. So I appreciate everyone coming and checking out uh, the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe to the video and hit the alert button so you see the future videos I'll keep putting out. Uh, and I, I try to respond to every comment, so feel free to give good or bad comments and let me know what you think. Thanks a lot.